So we're staying with family this weekend and their nearest train station is Birkenhead North. So we got on, it was £4.20 for an adult return, which I thought was so cheap. So we headed out of the station and then we were heading towards Witherspoons for a little Witherspoons breakfast this morning. There was also a Cinnabon here, which I thought was so cool. So I had a little lemonata and then I had some pancakes with some maple syrup. And then we headed down towards Matthew Street. It was so quiet because nowhere was open at this time, but we just wanted to take a little walk through because we were planning to come back here later on today anyway. We've seen the Beatles Museum and of course the Cilla Black statue, <laughs> which someone had hung their brown. And then we just had a little look at the Cavern Restaurant. We are coming here for dinner later. So I shall show you that later on in the vlog. And then we just headed up towards the John Lennon statue and then down towards the Albert Docks. This is when the wind begins to pick up. We are just down at the Albert Dock. We've just been to the Beatles statue and we're going to go and actually explore the dock and see what there is down here. The water is so choppy. Oh my goodness. I mean, it is absolutely freezing today, but if you wanted to get a nice cream, you can. There's a little deli truck as well. It's so nice down here. Just as we left Albert Dock, a storm was brewing. The wind was absolutely horrific, but we made our way up to the Baltic Market. It's actually an old brewery, Cane's Brewery, I think that's what it's called. And it's all little food stalls inside. It's absolutely amazing, it's so cute. And at the tables, you can actually order your meal to your table through the QR code. So I had a little half cider, Stuart had a beer. And then Stuart and I shared these chicken tacos. They were so nice. And Calvin had a pizza slice. But here are some of the food offerings that you can get at the Baltic Market. Just behind the Baltic Market is a red brick market. So we went in to have a little look and there is so many stalls in here it is crazy i love this little woodworking stall especially that i was group board and that jacket is so cool so we just had a good look around and then we decided that there was nothing really in here that we wanted to buy but there were so many cool things i actually really regret not picking up this little trinket dish in that Cadbury jug. I absolutely loved it, it was so cute. And these earrings, oh my goodness, I was obsessed with like little tiny things like this when I was younger. So these earrings were definitely a bit of me. And then I seen this little vintage Mickey and Minnie, but I didn't buy anything. So we decided just to get on our way and head back down into the city centre. So we just came from the Baltic market and we've just walked up through Chinatown and we're headed to the cathedral now. Really nice down this soon. Liverpool Cathedral completely blew us away. None of us are religious, but we decided just to go in and have a look. And the video does absolutely no justice to this cathedral. It's so beautiful and it's massive inside. It's definitely worth a visit if you're visiting Liverpool. We've just got to like the main shopping area. They're everywhere. We have walked from the cathedral. It took about 15 minutes, just over 15 minutes, but the wind was so bad that I never filmed any of the walk. And we're just going to have a wee look in the shops. We headed to the Cavern restaurant for our dinner. It's just across the road from the Cavern Club in Sergeant Peppers. The theming inside is so cute and there's photos from different celebrities who have actually been into the Cavern Club across the street. This is the menu, these are the mains. I had those tacos for my lunch so I wasn't too hungry so I decided to just have the creamy wild mushrooms, the which are a starter and some fries. Stuart and I had a Cavern Lager and it was so nice. 
Calvin had the chicken noodles, Stuart went for the fish and chips and like I said I had the wild mushrooms, came with a little baguette. The streets were starting to get a little bit crazy now so we decided just to head back to Birkenhead North on the train. This is us just getting on at Liverpool Central, you get on platform 3 for Birkenhead North and here's a little train coming now. We're literally just at the train station waiting to be picked up to go back to Stuart's auntie and uncle's house but we had such a great day in Liverpool today. We done so much, walked for ages. My feet are actually so sore now. But I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and hopefully you shall come and see what I'm up to next. Thanks for watching. Bye.